This is Chewbacca. That does not make sense. And ladies and gentlemen of the jury, today, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm gonna to prove to you that Chewbacca is actually a villain. Welcome to Movie Film Media, I'm Carl, and I know what you're thinking. How the hell is Chewbacca the bad guy in Star Wars? Well, I'm gonna prove that today through a number of points which are indisputable, and at the end of it, you'll say, you know what? Dead right. Chewbacca, absolute dick. Now I know exactly what they're thinking. Chewbacca, Chewie, whatever you want to call him, he's not on the dark side, he's not a Sith, he's not Jar Jar Binks, he's not even Ryan Johnson who ruled the whole Star Wars franchise, we'll get into that later. So to begin, we're going to have to go to everybody's favourite Star Wars movie. No, not Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi or New Hope, not any of the, the other ones that we won't talk about too much. No. Star Wars Holiday Special is where we have to travel to first. Now I'm aware that many of you may not have seen Star Wars Holiday Special in its entirety because the Star Wars Holiday Special was so terrible that George Lucas locked it away in a vault never to be seen again, only for certain clips to pop up on YouTube of all places. And I do not recommend watching them if you like Star Wars. Where's Chewbacca? <laughs> The Star Wars Holiday Special revolves around Chewbacca going home to his home planet, to his wife and kid. Yeah, you heard that right. Wife and kid. And other family members. And it's kind of weird because it all takes place like in the Wookiee universe with Wookiee language, but then spreading of stars from the Star Wars universe pop in. But it's, you know what it is? It's the movie equivalent of the Star Wars Connect game that came out a few years ago. Remember that monstrosity? But this is my key piece of evidence. Chewbacca has a son named Lumpy. His son, Lumpy. Which I assume is short for Lumpy Backer. Because Chewy, Chewbacca. Maybe it's just Lumpbacker rather than Lumpy Backer. Who knows? But the key thing is Chewbacca has a wife and a kid which he's left behind to travel the universe with a smuggler buddy. Basically, Chewbacca is a deadbeat dad. And therein lies the key piece of evidence that Chewbacca is a bad guy because Chewbacca is a deadbeat dad that has abandoned his family to hang out with smugglers. Apart from abandoning his whole family just to travel across the universe with his smuggler buddies, there's further evidence that Chewbacca is a bad guy. Case in point, the end of Empire Strikes Back. The final scene, or scenes, where everything's wrapping up nicely, Lando's in a ship with Chewie. And I know what you're thinking. This guy just watched Family Guy. Yes, but they made a very good point. Don't worry, we'll find Jabba the Hutt and that bounty hunter, and we'll get Han back. Why are you wearing Han's clothes? Seriously, watch the actual movie. Lando is wearing Han's clothes in this scene. It's really weird. Luke, we're ready for takeoff. <laughs> Lando was wearing Han's clothes, but Chewie seems oblivious to all this. He just sits down beside Lando and doesn't even recognize that Lando has stolen Han's identity. Why would he do this? Because to Chewbacca, all humans look the same. Chewbacca's racist. So, so far we have two indisputable facts. Number one, that Chewbacca is a deadbeat dad who abandoned his family to go across the universe with a lot of smugglers. And number two, he's a bit of a racist towards humans. But there's more, because scattered throughout the Star Wars franchise, you can pick up on these moments once you start to believe that Chewbacca is actually a bad guy you can see that he's kind of a prick. In The Force Awakens, after Han Solo has been killed, spoilers if you haven't seen it, right after that scene, despite traveling with other people, Chewbacca just tries to abandon everyone. Rey and Finn go off to fight in the snow. You know, Rey reaches out her hand to get the lightsaber, uses the Force. She's stronger than Kylo Ren because he's kind of just a whiny little Darth Vader wannabe and really made that bag out. Bad, but we're not going to get to that one yet. That's another video for another day. Right when Rey and Finn are at the end of their rope, at the end of their big fight, Chewbacca is getting the Millennium Falcon. He's trying to get off. Right. He obviously he came back, so maybe he redeemed himself a little bit. Chewbacca's first idea there was every man for himself: get get away by any means possible, save himself. Kind of a dick move. So now we've got three pieces of evidence that Chewbacca's a bad guy. He's a little bit of a racist because he thinks all humans are the same. He's out only out for himself. And the key piece of evidence is that he's a deadbeat dad who's traveling across the universe with a lot of smugglers, rather than being with his family. With that being said, I'll leave it up to you guys. You guys let me know in the comments below if you think Chewbacca is a good guy or a bad guy. All I'm saying is, Chewbacca's kind of a dick. 